Hey, so today I am very excited because I am going to be talking about one of my favorite things in the world, and that is audiobooks. And not only am I going to be talking about audiobooks, I'm going to be sharing my recommendations with you. I mean, that is what this video is. I'm giving you audiobook recommendations. So in the early days of my channel, I made a top 10 favorite audiobooks, and I think it was actually 12 books that were on that list. I just realized that my coffee is over on the other side of the camera. I forgot it over there. I'm gonna go grab it! It's like 4.30 right now, but um, you know what, I don't care. I'm gonna be up all night, but that's fine. I just got a pour over coffee maker. Well, I didn't get it. My brother and sister-in-law gave it to me for my birthday and I just made like my first batch of coffee with it and it's so good. So I'm just really enjoying it. I feel like my nails, it looks like I just like had too much fun with whiteout. They're very white. <laughs> all right, anyway, back to audiobooks. I made a video talking about some of my favorites a while back, so if you haven't seen that, feel free to check it out because there's even more recommendations in there. But today I have, I think I have another 12 to share with you. I guess we're just gonna keep with the theme of 12. I will say though, there are two on this list that I have not completed, but the thing with audiobooks is that you can pretty much tell right away if it's a good one. And so I can tell that these are good ones, but in terms of like storyline, I'm not quite sure yet, but I'm still gonna talk about them, but I think I'm gonna save those for last. So we can talk about the ones that I have really listened to and loved first. So, let's get cracking. I hate that I just said that. We're gonna pretend that that didn't happen. I do wanna say really quick before we begin, if you are brand new to audiobooks, you don't know where to start, I am an Audible affiliate. I have links down below. Obviously, if you use my code, I make some money off of it, helps support me and the channel, but you don't have to use my affiliate codes, you can just sign up for a free trial on Audible and you get the same stuff. But I personally love Audible in general, I love the gifts that you can give with it, and I love the romance package, which is how I listen to so much romance. But yeah, links are down below. I'm sorry, I just had to do a little shameless plug, but now we can continue on with the meat of the video. <laughs> Okay, oh, I don't know where to start. You know what, we're gonna start with one that I feel like people won't be that surprised about. But I gotta talk about it because I loved it. And that book that I'm gonna share with you is Sadie by Courtney Summers. This audiobook is phenomenal. This is not something that you wanna dive into if you are looking for a light, fun read. Sadie is the opposite of that. But the performances in this book are so, so good. If you weren't aware what this book is about, it's kind of like serial meets young adult. It follows like two different storylines essentially. You have Sadie who is on the hunt to find the person that she believes killed her sister. And then you have this kind of podcast, I think it's actually the, like a news program called The Girls, and it's basically this journalist, West McRae. Oh yeah, it is a podcast. It follows Wes McRae as he is then trying to kind of figure out what happened to Sadie, because Sadie went missing. And so it, it documents Sadie's own story, and then it also documents West when he's going through all these interviews with different people and reporting his findings and trying to find out what happened to Sadie. You guys all know I'm not great at explaining things, so I hope that that made sense. It's just so amazing. Also, the major trigger warning for really any type of sexual abuse, this book deals with rape, pedophilia, child abuse. If you are sensitive to any of those topics, maybe pass on Sadie. But if you think that you can handle the content that this book contains, I would highly recommend that you give the audiobook a try, because it was phenomenal. All right, now let's move on. So diving into something a lot more light and fun, we have What If It's Us by Becky Albertelli and Adam Silvera. I feel like I had a hard time saying their names. This book is precious and I love it so much, but I will say insta-love all over the goddamn place in this book. So much insta-love happening, but this is one of the rare occasions where I don't care. I, I literally could not care less that these two boys fall in love like immediately because it's, it's so good. It was a really big intake of breath that I just took. So this story follows Arthur and Ben. Arthur is new to New York City. He, I think he's doing like an internship or something. And 
and uh, Ben has lived in New York all his life and the two boys meet at the post office and essentially Arthur really wants to find Ben. He puts up flyers, he gets on like Miss Connections, is that what it's called? Like on Craigslist or something? He's just doing everything that he can to try to find this boy that he met at the post office and Ben sees the flyer, you know, they get in contact, and it's precious and adorable, and I love it so much. I mean, that's kind of like all, it's a rom-com. It's a rom-com, but I feel like it's also, apart from the insta-love, it's realistic. And like, I feel like you'll understand that once you read it, what I mean by that. Because there are certainly things that happen in this where you're like, Okay. What? Like all of the kind of crazy things, like add to the flavor of the charm of this book. That was a confusing sentence. <laughs> The two uh, actors who voice this are phenomenal. It's Froy Gutierrez and, oh, what's the other one's name? He took Ben Platt's place as Evan Hansen. Noah Galvin, they both just do such a good job. I mean, Noah Galvin, I will say. I don't know if it's Arthur in particular or if it's Noah Galvin, but just, oh my God, that performance, that character, I love you, Arthur. Ben's great, too. You know, I think that I've prattled enough about this book. I'm gonna move on. But What If It's Us is super great. And if you want, like, a fun young adult romantic comedy with also, I mean, there is also serious stuff happening. It's not all fluff. Check this out, because it's so great. Oh my god, I love it so much. Well, let's move on. Should we move on to one? You know what, let's move on to an oldie but a goodie, and that Little Puppy is Pants on Fire by Meg Cabot. This audiobook, I think it was one of the first ones that I purchased, and this is back in the day before Audible, well maybe like Audible was around, but it was like not on my radar. So I bought the audiobook on iTunes. I think I spent like $30 on it. But this is on Audible, so you can you can get it on Audible if you want. Or other things. Obviously there's other ways to listen to audiobooks. I'm, wow, I'm getting out of breath. Okay. Whew. This story follows Katie Ellison, who is a liar, but not in like the scary way. Like she just can't seem to stop it. Like it just keeps on happening. And she doesn't lie about like who she is. She's not like, oh, like I went to university over in England, but I was born in South Africa. And really she just like grew up in the suburbs of Utah or something. Like, no, she's not like that. Basically, she has like three boyfriends and she's trying to kind of juggle them. I mean, she doesn't, but she does. The main meat of this book is that Katie was really good friends with this boy named Tommy Sullivan. But one night when Katie was kind of trying to get in with the popular kids at her school. They decided to write Tommy Sullivan is a freak on the high school for reasons that I won't disclose now, but that you find out during the book. And so then like, you know, she feels terrible. Tommy moves away, but then, oh my God, he's back in town and he's super hot. Oh my God, it's just so fun. I love this audiobook so much. I can't remember who it's narrated by, but she does a, such a good job. And I love Meg Cabot. She's so much fun. So another fun one to add to your possible audiobook repertoire, if you so choose to give it a shot. So. Let's move on. The next book, uh, I have already talked about so much on my channel, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but uh, I need to mention it because it's one of my favorite audiobooks, and that is The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. No shocker to anyone, right? You all know how much I love this book. There are actually two versions of this audiobook. There's the normal one, and then there's also one that I think has like a bunch of sound effects and music. I listened to the original one, but that one also has music. I can only speak for the one that I listened to, which was the like classic audiobook, and it was so good. I loved the narrator. This book does have like kind of multiple POVs. I mean, it does, it does have multiple POVs, but the one narrator does such a fantastic job with the different like POVs and accents and it's, she's just so good. And so if you haven't read The Coldest Girl in Cold Town or if you did read The Coldest Girl in Cold Town but you haven't listened to the audiobook and maybe you also were kind of like meh about it, try the audiobook because it's, Amazing. Also, if you want to read, this is like vampires and it's vampires, but it's so good. All right, uh, let's move on to another book. So the next book that I want to talk to you all about is one that I mentioned in my recent reads video, and that is Best Day Ever by Kara Ruda. This book was so, I don't even know. It's just 
interesting. It's a psychological thriller, and it's unlike any other psychological thriller I've read before, in the fact that, like, it's not super crazy until all of a sudden it is. This book is tough to talk about without giving away spoilers, so I would just say, like, read what the little synopsis is on Goodreads or whatever, and then see if it sounds up your alley. It's just I don't even know. It's like funny, but also disturbing. I really, I don't have words for it, but I would recommend it. And I thought, yeah, I thought the audiobook is great. So give it a go if you're in the mood for a thriller. All right. So the next book that I want to talk to you about is actually a series of books, uh, but we'll just start with the first one. And that is Cinder by Marissa Meyer, but really the entirety of the Lunar Chronicles, the audiobooks are amazing. They are so good. I have talked about uh, this book before. Not only how much I actually ended up loving it, but uh, God, my camera keeps on going out of focus and I want to scream. Okay. <laughs> Bit of an overreaction, but it's frustrating. Okay. I tried. You know what? My camera hates Cinder up on. So we're just, you know what? You saw it. Lunar Chronicles. They're great. I tried to read the Lunar Chronicles, or I tried to start Cinder so many times, and for whatever reason, I could not get into it. I read that first scene at like the market, I don't even, just like 20 times. I couldn't get past it, and it's not bad. It is not a bad beginning, but I think I just got to the point where like I kept on rereading it. I would start it in September and then I'd stop and then I would pick it up again in like June. So like I needed to reread the beginning. It was stuff like that. So but anyway, once I then got the audiobook, it was just a whole new world for me and it was fantastic. So I cannot recommend the Lunar Chronicles audiobooks enough. They're so good. And again, this is another case like Coldest Growing coldest girl in cold town where it is one narrator but there are multiple points of view and she does such a good job with each character she's so good who is this narrated by again i don't remember <laughs> rebecca soler that's who narrates the lunar chronicles she's great such a good job let's move on to another one. Okay, uh, these next books, I've talked about one of them in my last romance recommendation video, so I won't talk about it a lot here, but I just have to mention it in case you didn't check them out after that video. The Girl Meets Duke series by Tessa Dare, the audiobooks narrated by Mary Jane Wells. Amazing. I cannot express to you how much I love Mary Jane Wells's acting. She's just so good. The books are funny by themselves, but with her narration, like I was like laughing out loud and I just love them so much. So it's been mentioned because I have to mention it, but I've already talked about it in a recommendation video. So we're gonna move on, but highly recommend. I mean, I've only read the first two. I've read The Duchess Deal and The Governess Game, and I haven't read The Wallflower Wager yet, which drives me crazy. I need to purchase it now, but I'm sure it's also fantastic. So that's that. Let's move on. <laughs> okay, this next book, you all, you all know how much I adore this book and how much I adore the audiobook, but I hadn't read it yet in my last audiobook recommendation, so it has to be mentioned now. And that book is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I'm using the UK edition that I have because I haven't like really gotten to showcase this in a recommendation video before. Like I feel like I've shown the paperback before and the, I actually, I don't know. I mean, not in a recommendation video, but in like a wrap up maybe, freak out tag. I don't know. I just, I wanted to use this copy because it's my favorite. It's just so good. So as you all know, I love Carry On. I though also love the audiobook so much. I read Carry On myself and then I decided since I loved it so much and would just like to read it like all the time, I was like, I'll get the audiobook because then I really can just like put it on when I'm doing mundane tasks, when I'm trying to sleep, anything. And the audiobook is so good. You and Morton is great. I mean, obviously all of these narrators do a phenomenal job and that's why these audiobooks are on this list. You all probably know what Carry On is about. I've also talked so much about how much I love this book that I feel like I shouldn't spend that much time on it. But if you haven't listened to this audiobook, it's so great. Can't recommend it enough. Also just can't recommend the book in general enough. We're gonna move on because I can really like go on a rant, a positive rant about uh, Carry On and how much 
that book means to me. But that's not what you're here for. You're just here for the books and not all of my personal feelings and emotions and love and adoration. These next books I'm going to talk to you about, I have mentioned, I mentioned them in my favorite books of 2018. Right? Yeah, it's 2019. Wow. I like was like, wait, is it 2020 yet? Nope. I mean, I also talked about Carry On and the Lunar Chronicles in that. Did I talk about other ones? I don't, I don't remember. But uh, I need to mention them now because the audiobooks are fantastic. And those books are The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series. Really only the first three books because I've only read the first three books, but I want to continue on reading the, the rest. But so the, that's The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy the Restaurant at the End of the Universe, and Life, the Universe, and Everything by Douglas Adams. These audiobooks are so good and so fun, and these books in general are just so fun. But I don't know if I would enjoy them quite as much if it weren't for the audiobook because they're so weird and zany that I almost need the performance aspect of it to really like get into it, I feel like. Like, I, I don't know, maybe if I, if I was just reading it myself, I might be a little bit more like, this is really weird. But when someone's reading it to you, I don't know, you're like more immersed almost. I don't know, but it works for me. <laughs> so the first book is narrated by Stephen Fry. He does such a great job awesome. But then the rest are narrated by Martin Freeman. We've been through this on my channel. Big Martin Freeman fan. So that's great for me. And maybe it'll be great for you too, because he also does such a great job. Okay, let's move on. So uh, we have two books left, and these are the two that I have not finished, but I have started the audiobooks for and have really enjoyed. So they're kind of like honorable mentions, but they're still on the list. Okay, so the first book is Scythe by Neil Schusterman. You've probably heard of this book before. It was like really big a few years ago on booktube. I mean, a lot of these were big on booktube. This is a dystopian, but it came out kind of like when dystopians were dead. It came out in 2016 and like 2013 was like the height of dystopian. I don't really know when dystopian officially died, but I feel like this was definitely the tail end of it. And somehow like it's, I mean, it's Neil Schusterman, so it's actually not that big of a surprise that it, I mean, Holly Black, coldest girl in cold town. This survived because it was Holly Black. I mean, this came out when everyone was sick and tired of vampires. But anyway, I digress. So I can't say a whole lot about the story because I haven't finished reading it, but if you were in the mood for a dystopian and a really cool concept one, I'd recommend Scythe. <laughs> Give the audiobook a go. Uh, the narrator is fantastic. This takes place in a world where essentially like we've gotten so good at preventing illnesses and prolonging life that in order to keep the population under control, people called scythes are tasked with basically killing people. Like they just go into random homes and like, all right, well, today you're gonna die. So let's, let's get this done with. I think that that's kind of what happens. Like I haven't finished it. I, I really haven't actually gotten very far in it, um, but I still wanted to mention it in case you wanted something in this realm. Okay, on to the next honorable mention, which I just mentioned in my book haul and that book is Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I said that this might make it in and it did because I started it and holy cow, I love it. Any audiobook that has a full cast, get out of town, I'm on board. And this does and it's great. It's so great. It doesn't have as much um, pizzazz as the Illuminae audiobook. I mean, but that's also like unfair to compare, but I feel like it also is fair to compare because it's the same co-authors and it's sci-fi. So like, can you really blame me? But it, still, full cast is enough for me. And there definitely are some effects we've through. I haven't read so like a lot of it yet. I think I'm on like chapter three, honestly, like I'm not far at all. And there's been like one effect added in and I was very excited when that happened. So I don't know if there's more to come, we'll see, but I did want to mention it because I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm really liking the voice actors and I'm uh, really liking the story. I'm very intrigued. <laughs> all right, gang, so that that's all I got to say today. I hope that you enjoyed these recommendations. I hope that maybe some of them were new to you. Uh, hopefully some of them were new to you. I knew that like none of these are like really obscure books, but these are audiobooks that I have loved and I wanted to share them with you. I don't know why I'm getting like defensive. I'm sorry. <laughs> but anywho, I had fun sharing with you some of my favorite audiobooks. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a like. I mean, obviously if you hated it, give it a thumbs down, <laughs> but I hope that you liked it. If you haven't already, consider subscribing helps, everything helps me out, you know? If you want to stay up to date in the 
oh my god, the thrilling adventures of my life. <laughs> all my socials are linked down below. I feel silly running through all of this stuff, but I don't know, like YouTube tells me that I should mention things like this in order to grow my audience and get engagement. I don't know, it just feels weird. Look at me, I'm twirling my hair. Okay, you guys know I love you and cannot thank you enough for all of your support and just for watching my videos. So anyway, I'm getting like sappy and weird. I need to leave. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that each and every one of you is doing extremely well and I will see you, see you in a video again real soon. Bye!